Field the Pulse Outdoors Season 2. Um, season 2 started off pretty slow. We uh, killed a few does early. And then towards the middle of the season, it picked up a little bit, and the bucks started to move, and we managed to kill a 170-inch whitetail. It was October 31st, Halloween night. Here in Northeast Missouri, it's getting to the prime part of the rut. As this video is going to show, you know, bucks are up on their feet chasing does. Um, as John said, it, it's been pretty slow, but, you know, we had not been seeing very many bucks. But as this video is going to prove, you know, anything can happen during the rut. Matthew and I got off work, jumped in the truck, grabbed the camera and the bow, headed to our farm. We got there about 3.30. We, uh... Hadn't seen much sign in there and ended up, we had a couple new scrapes by the stand, a couple new rubs, everything was fresh and we uh, had a trail camera about 30 yards from the deer stand and we checked it out from the tree and we had noticed a good buck using that area that day uh, about an hour before we got in the stand and little did we know that that buck was going to come by the stand that, next, that night. So join us in the stand and see how the night progressed. We just got set it on our stand. It's October 31st, Halloween. We uh, just checked our trail camera. We had a real nice buck on there. We got some big rubs here that we can see from the stand that weren't here the other day. So the bucks have been using it. They're up on their feet, chasing does. And we've been seeing a little buck activity. So hopefully, if Luke's Halloween mask don't scare him off, we'll get one tonight. He was talking about himself, actually. His Halloween mask is worse than mine. Matthew and I went in and hung these stands a couple weeks prior to the hunt. Um, we noticed a lot of old buck activity, a lot of old buck rubs. There was a clear cut road going down through the middle of the woods and they had been using it from what we thought anyways. And we had our trail cameras out, seen a lot of small buck activity. The big bucks just weren't up on their feet yet. Um, we hung about 60, 70 yards off from the clear cut road hoping to catch a buck cruising, maybe grunt or rattle him in. Um, just try to get something in range, get an arrow in. There's, we've never seen a buck this big in our life, so um, we went in there blind, had no idea um, what to expect, and it all worked out for the best. We hadn't been seeing a lot of deer that night. This was the first couple deer that we'd seen. We had truck camera pictures of him at 2 o'clock when we got in the stand about 3, and uh, luckily enough, about 6.15, we heard a grunt up in the woods, and I saw a doe coming our way, and I, looked up at Luke and I said, we have a 160 coming. And he didn't really believe me for yeah. a minute, but uh, sure enough, he came right to us. You can't see the doe on film. She ran right underneath of us and ended up busting us. But uh, the buck made a scrape about 40 yards from the tree and he ended up looking right at us. But that doe kept him there and luckily enough, he uh, came in and presented us with a shot. <laughs>